Hey folks, my name is Kess, and today we've got another Premiere Pro tutorial for you. We're going to learn how to transform your footage and your edit and make it just a little more exciting. You see how boring this cut is? Now check this out. Speed ramps can help add excitement to your footage. And it's really simple to do, no plugins needed, so let's get started. Open up your Premiere Pro and drag and drop the footage that you want to use. If you want to use the exact footage I'm using in this video, please check out the link below. You can download it there. We have three clips on our timeline. We have a skyline sunset, a beach shot, and a winter forest scene. The first thing you want to do is right click one of the clips, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed. And you want to do this for all the clips. By doing this, you're activating the keyframes for speed. So now, we're going to start on the first clip. We're going to zoom in a little bit so we can focus on it. This is what we got. So, for this first clip, as you saw in the preview, we are going to start off fast and then slow down. So, I'm going to find a point where I'm happy slowing down. I think here is good. So I'm going to make a keyframe here. So now click this bar here and you can raise it up. I'm going to raise it around 700% faster because the bigger the difference, the more drastic and dramatic the speed ramp looks. Okay, let's try this. So let's see what that looks like. It starts off fast. I'm going to make this a little faster actually. Maybe around 770. I'm happy with that transition, but to make it smoother, you can adjust this here. Cool. I am happy with that. And um, I'm just going to trim the clip. Okay, I'm happy with it ending here. And then just starting a little earlier. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Now let's move on to the next clip. So as you saw in the preview, we have it start up fast, slow down, and go fast again. So again, I'm going to find the point where I want it to be slow. Around here. And then the point where it's going to speed up again. Again, we only need a little bit of slowness here, so, and we can adjust this later. To match the speed that we had before, let's make this around 750 as well. Okay, 755. Let's match that speed here. Oop, it's a little too high. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Nice, that looks really cool. So. Again, I'm going to trim the edges that I don't need, so I'm going to make this a little shorter here. I'm actually going to adjust this here. I'm going to move this back this way a bit. So right now this is what it looks like, so it starts from here. Okay, and we're just going to work on our last clip now. We're going to do the same thing that we did at the beginning. We're going to start off fast and we're going to slow down. Again, I'm going to find the point where I want it to slow down. I think just when this car is appearing at the end here, I'm going to click this. I'm going to make this part faster. Again, we're going to keep the same speed of 750. 755. Okay. I'm going to make this transition a little better. Again, I'm going to make this shorter. Nice. I am happy with that. I'm just going to add some dips to white in between. And there you have it. You just learned how to use speed ramps. 
For this video, I used footage with a frame rate of 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second. But if you shoot in a higher frame rate, you have a lot more room to play with it. You can actually slow it down even more. You can show the drastic change between really fast and really slow. If you really like this video and you found it helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more You Want Pizzazz tutorials. Alright, thanks folks. Have a great day.